everybody welcome back to another vlog it's like 7 50 i just took duncan outside i spent about 30 minutes sitting out on my balcony instead of scrolling on tiktok this morning i recommend fresh air instead of opening an app that inflicts self-hatred every single morning and i say that with love for tiktok because i do love tiktok it's just scary how much of your life tiktok can take up i don't want today to be a mondayest of mondays does that make sense mondays are typically my worst day of the week i don't know if it's me coming off the high of the weekend and by the high of the weekend I just see other humans instead of being by myself or just that everybody that I know during the week is busy with work and can't just talk all day I don't know what but I always feel shitty on Mondays so to counteract that I woke up earlier this morning I got up at 7 it's gonna be a good day do you like my pajamas when I saw this on the model I will say the sleeves didn't look this long I'm pretty sure it was there when their arms were down are my arms that short it's giving science art teacher and I love it what have we been dealing with in the Samantha Joe household. Duncan is sick. I went to a Steelers Packers game like a week and a half ago. Duncan had to be boarded for three days and during those three days he got kennel cough. I didn't know that if they were vaccinated they could still get kennel cough but I guess it's like a flu shot. You can still get the flu if you've had the flu shot. They just do their best to guess which strains are going to be the most prevalent. That's what the vet said because the second this mother trucker started coughing I went to the vet so fast. I have such bad pet anxiety ever since Snickers. Kennel cough does not sound like I thought it did. It sounds like he is trying to get the girthiest, biggest, most voluptuous hairball out of his body. I was fully convinced he ate a sock. He started coughing Friday night. We went to the vet Saturday morning. They said everything else about him was fine, aside from the cough, or besides from the cough. His gums were pink, he didn't have a fever, he didn't have any of the other symptoms of this scary disease going around. We put him on antibiotics. What else did they give him? Some type of cough suppressant. He's already feeling so much better. Today is Monday, obviously, I already told you that. He's been on the medicine Saturday, Sunday for two full days. He's coughing way less. He was coughing every three seconds before. It is indeed a week later that me filming this. Duncan had all of his antibiotics, stopped coughing. The second he stopped his antibiotics, he started coughing again. So now I'm scared it's actually this virus. Look at him. Good job. I took him back to the vet yesterday and they gave him more antibiotics and they also put you on a steroid because they said they looked at your lungs and you got a little bit of bronchitis and pneumonia. I'm currently a stressed out pet mom. But I'm doing the best that I can. I don't want to fear monger. Is that the right word? I don't want to scare anybody, but please take this virus that's going around seriously and don't board your dogs if you don't have to. Don't take them to the groomer. Where'd the balloons come from? Don't take them to the groomer if you don't have to. No dog parks. Keep them away from other dogs. Yesterday they said he still looks fine. Like he still has energy. He's still eating. He's still drinking. His gums look fine. We just don't want any other puppies to get sick. When I take him outside, I take him outside in the pet stroller. That way he doesn't come in contact with any other dogs. And I'm only letting him go to the bathroom in the areas where other dogs don't go. This is a little too stressful considering Vlogmas. And me and Mama Kelly are leaving to go somewhere. The third through the ninth, Gerald's going to be watching Duncan and it just... I'm stressed. So please pray that this round of antibiotics and steroids gets the job done. He does seem better. I haven't heard him cough today. And he only coughed like three times yesterday. Fingers crossed, but keep your dog safe. I don't know if you can tell, he's as happy as ever. I'm just watching him like a hawk because I'm so scared that I could get bad really fast. He's my child. Nothing happens to my children or I'll punch you in the face. My oh shit alarm. That means it's eight o'clock now. Let's make today a good day, shall we? Shall we? Drink your water. I'm sure you're so tired of people telling you that, but it makes such a difference. Welcome to my bedroom. The vlog is coming up. It is pretty much inevitable that we're gonna get really up on each other's grill for the next month. Ever since I moved in here, my room has just been something that I've never felt has been finished or organized. I had products that were from the first time I lived in Florida. That shit expires and you're not using it. So many unopened things, which overconsumption is such a freaking problem. Talk about TikTok being just so 
toxic. And I don't need you to tell me that I'm the influencer that overconsumes too. I know. I'm an influencer with an eating disorder and a shopping addiction. Which, growing up, my doctor did always tell me to stay away from drugs and alcohol because addiction runs in my family. I've known an alcoholic or two in my life. And I've never been intrigued by drugs or alcohol, so that was light work. Of course, I'll stay away. Don't have to ask me twice. Have the occasional drink. But I hate it. I hate drinking. I hate the way it makes me feel the next day. Which is such an unpopular opinion, especially in your mid-twenties. Everybody wants to go out and drink, and that's everybody's idea of fun. And that is fine, if that is your idea of fun. It's not mine. Every once in a while, sure. I hate the anxiety I have for a week afterwards. I swear I get depressed afterwards. Where did I start that? Even though I wasn't addicted to drugs and alcohol, therapy has helped me realize I definitely still do have an addictive personality. I'm just addicted to other things, food and shopping. I've been really intentional recently. I get sent a lot of stuff. So in my head, I'm letting that satiate the shopping urges. Now I still do shop like behind me. Let me show you. Does this count as shopping though? How beautiful is this? I got this painting yesterday from Home Goods. I don't know if you can even see me. Sorry if the lighting's bad. Do you guys remember that collage wall well she wouldn't stay up she kept falling down I wanted something more mature more grown-up I didn't quite know what that was gonna be and I didn't go into home goods expecting to find this it found me this is stunning it says certificate of authenticity I cannot wait to hang this up I'm gonna put it right here issue being these are leaving behind such a bad residue so much for being apartment friendly if you have any tips of getting this stuff off my wall I would give you a big hug and kiss I'm gonna hang this up soon. I just, this is the kind of stuff I'd rather spend my money on than a bunch of little shit that is just gonna add up extra products that I don't have to buy. Buying more of the same products, like more moisturizers, more foundations, more this, that, that I already have. And I could finish the ones that I have first. It's just consumerism these days. Social media and TikTok just has such a way of making you feel like you're missing out on something if you don't buy it. I could have saved so much money if I had not bought every single thing that I've seen on the internet. I I've been working on it behind the scenes a lot. Moving forward, I'm gonna be super intentional about taking all of my extra PR that I simply won't use. I'm one person and making sure I'm giving it to all of you guys. I simply have too many things, but I've been working on it. Let me use my vanity as an example. I started decluttering everything and I started with my bedroom. I've decided to pick a room a day or even a corner a day to go through everything, declutter, decide if I really am gonna use the stuff that I have or not. I'm also a messy person and logically the less stuff you have, the harder it is to make a mess. Even though I'll still probably find a damn way. I went through my vanity a couple of days ago. Maybe that doesn't look like I decluttered, but this whole top drawer was just full of random shit. I can get holders for everything and that would probably make it look more organized. But now it's just foundations, concealers, powders, and setting sprays. This one is all bronzers and blushes. Believe it or not, that is a lot less than I had before. I have no excuse for buying new makeup. And then this one is eye and lip products. Down here is still a little bit of a mess. This was overflowing before. It just has random stuff like bed sheet hooks, my different storage bags for when I travel, my happy light for if I get depressed, a skin spatula. This got sent to me. I haven't used it yet. Maybe I'll give it to one of you guys. It's literally unopened. Up top, I just have like my sunglasses. This thing over here is pretty much empty. My eyeshadow palettes, makeup remover, brushes, some perfumes up here and down here, a brush. Very clutter free in my opinion. I also got this holder for all of my Disney ears. I have more still in the process of decluttering my closet. I'm sure I'll find more as I go through there. I wanted somewhere to put all of my ears because once again, they were just thrown around everywhere. They didn't have a place. I want to take care of the things that I do have. So some of these I haven't worn yet. Yeah, like how cute are these Christmas ones? Vlogmas in the parks. I don't even know if you guys like my Disney stuff, but I like going to Disney. It makes me happy. So we're gonna go for Vlogmas. I also got these cute little snowman ones. I'm gonna touch it. I'm like a waterbender. Oh. Oh. Really squirting now. Really? <laughs> Be aggressive. <laughs> I, how do I do it? Oh, see, it's not that easy. Now, is it? Okay, very so gracious. Look at this how I'm close. Is it sending oh. my poop off from that far? <laughs> okay. <laughs>
because that's what it actually looks like. <laughs> I love Christmas! I literally just woke up. I got ready for the day and I always talk myself out of showing you guys my outfits. I also always talk myself out of vlogging, but it's the time of year where you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. I will say I don't feel the most confident in this outfit, but it's not because I don't think it's cute. One, my arms are out. I always cover my arms, but I'm trying not to. I've been saying that for years. It's a process. Loving yourself and healing and accepting yourself the way you are is a process. If people don't understand that, them. Up. Let me know. We need to talk about the Christmas tree in a second. This is an outfit that I think is really cute and I would love to wear. And so instead of telling myself that I can't wear it, I put it on. These overalls are from Buff Bunny. I do the code, Sam Joe. Dummy. They sent these to me in a 3X. I definitely think I would have preferred a 2X. I think the appeal of these is that they're form-fitting, stretchy, comfy overalls that give you shape. I have these in two other colors from last year. Dobby. Okay, hold on. I'll show you my outfit in a second. Dobby has already ruined my Christmas tree. I just bought this this year because he ruined last year's. Surprise, surprise. He keeps climbing it and now all of these branches don't Day. You see? Some people on TikTok told me to try this. It's three-in-one cat and kitten training aid. It's not working so far. The only other suggestion that I got was to terrorize him with the tree, and that seems mean. I'm gonna keep trying this. It says it's rosemary scented. To me, it gives lemon. Maybe I just don't know what rosemary smells like. Look how high he is getting. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It just smells like lemon kitchen spray. <laughs> It's in my mouth. Am I even hitting the tree? It says it trains cats humanely, no scratching, no chewing, and establishes <sighs> boundaries. Okay, we need to move. It's a human deterrent too. These are the over dolls from Buff Bunny. I thrifted this little watch. I forget which thrift store here I got it from. I'm not gonna remember. Oh my gosh, my makeup does not look good today. Oh well. I've lost, oh my, <sighs> hold on, I need water. I've lost my summer tan. I don't even know if I got that tan this year. I just haven't been sitting outside as much. It's gotten chillier and it's been really, don't spray that much. It's gotten chillier outside and it's just been super gloomy. So naturally I don't have a tan anymore. I need to get the lint roller. I've tried self tanning before and it never works out good. I don't know if it's just because I'm lumpy, bumpy and have deep crevices. It smears, it streaks, it's just never even. Granted, I do live near Gerald now so he could help me with my back and stuff. I'm gonna have to start self tanning again. I'm just gonna have to learn how to do it good because I don't wanna go in a tanning bed. I essentially had skin cancer on my back earlier this year and I'm super intentional about wearing sunscreen every single day even if I'm not wearing makeup. I'm now the annoying person with my friends and family who is constantly asking if you've put sunscreen on, you need to wear sunscreen. Sounds good? Okay, glad we discussed it. Hopefully I can find a good self tanner. Maybe I'll go try and get one today so I don't look as pasty. This is just a white t-shirt, probably from Target or ASOS. This is an aura ring. If you've genuinely been considering switching your Apple Watch for an aura ring, do it. I hate how big and clunky and just, I don't know, I don't love the way Apple Watches look. I like them for certain things. Like if I'm going on a walk, that way I can have my phone in my pocket and I can just use my watch for music and stuff. Other than that, I like having my steps tracked. I like having my movement tracked. I like having my sleep tracked, which I was never able to do very well on my Apple Watch because I would always have to charge my Apple Watch at night. I charge this thing for maybe 30-ish minutes every five or six days. I just do it while I take a shower. It tracks my sleep. It gives me a readiness score based on how I slept the night before. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just posted a story when I got it. I'm gonna embarrass myself here. I actually also have a 
gold one. That one's a size 10 and this one's a size 11. The size 10 simply does not fit me right now. When I lose a little bit of weight, the 10 will fit me and maybe I can give this away to one of you guys if you don't mind having a used one. I wouldn't give a shit. I'm testing out silver too, by the way, if you can't tell. Let me know if you think I'm a silver girl or a gold girl. The TikTok filter told me I was silver, but I've always worn gold. You can link this to natural cycles, so I'm not on birth control. For years and years and years, I've always just tracked my period and kind of hope for the best based on that. The aura rings link to natural cycles and it takes your temperature like every morning or in the middle of the night. I'm not sure when it happens. It tracks your ovulation cycle. I had to switch cameras because for some reason the memory cards kept filling up on that one. Basically, it just tracks your ovulation for you and tells you if it's like a red day, a green day, a yellow day on whether or not you're good to go, if you know what I mean. Highly recommend putting this on your Christmas list if you can because I'm obsessed with this. I have to wear my black Converse with this, but I can only find one of them. So frustrating. I'm just wearing these other Converse that I have. This was the bag I was gonna bring, but it doesn't really match the vibe. The vibe's kind of what I make it though, right? This is a Dagny Dover bag, by the way. They sent it to me and it's surprisingly big on the inside. It fits a lot. Oh, I need to get Doug in his medicine. I'm gonna use this ornaments and this candle as a tripod for it. Can't find his bowl, so he's using one of mine. I've had these bowls ever since I moved into my first apartment. I've put new bowls on my Christmas list this year. I actually made a Christmas list this year. I put links in it and everything. In the past, it's been hard because I'm a shopaholic. I told you guys that already. I would literally buy myself everything that I wanted, which I understand is a very privileged statement, but it's just simply the truth. I'm being honest with you, you're my friends. I've, I've still been buying myself things, but instead of just buying them, I've been putting them on like wish lists. And if I'm still thinking about it in like a month or two months, I'll buy it. So I have quite a bit of things on my Christmas wish list this year. Speaking of gifts, I, I get so distracted. I'm so sorry. Samantha Joe, if you're watching this, click away. I need to send a package to Samantha because it was her birthday in October. I have her birthday gifts and her Christmas gifts that I need to just put in one big package and send over. Although I am driving to Wisconsin for Vlogmas, so I may just wait and give them to her then. I have this memory of her liking Winnie the Pooh. I have a lot of memories that I don't know if they're real or not. <laughs> I don't know if they're dreams. I have a really bad disassociating problem. I never know what happened and what didn't happen. In my head, Samantha likes Winnie the Pooh. But I feel like even if you didn't love Winnie the Pooh, this is cute. Although I also got her Winnie the Pooh. Oh, one of the cups is broken. Well, there's three other ones. I also got her Winnie the Pooh blanket. I got her these Winnie the Pooh cups from Home Kit from home goods. Sam's grandma passed away right as I was moving last year. Her grandma loved Cardinals. And so anytime I see Cardinals, I always think of Sam and her grandma. Sam loves old vintage looking cute things like this. I don't even know, is this a teacup? I'm not really sure, but it comes with a little plate. It has a Cardinal on it. And then it comes with this little spoon to mix it all up that also has a Cardinal on it. Home goods finds. I found that when I got my painting. Duncan's Medicine Santa, focus. I'm going to attempt to just put it in with his food. He's on doxycycline, which I think is the antibiotic, and hydrocodone. Isn't that a pain med? He gets a half tablet of this. While I was looking for a camera, I found my little hair bows. That adds such a cute little touch. Adorable. The antibiotic is giving him diarrhea. I got a can of pumpkin puree. I'm gonna mix half of it in. Dobby is very curious. No, 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 go. I know, sorry. Let's see if he'll eat it. What? I need gas, yay. There's a few things that I want to accomplish while I'm out. The first is go to Barnes and Noble and film my video. I tried to turn whatever skin filter is on off of this. I apologize if it looks stupid. I don't know how to fix it. I'm about to get gas. I need to go to a Trader Joe's because I want to make a crock pot meal to have for the next couple of days. And I also want to get myself some flowers. Joe gets me flowers all the time. Every once in a while, you just have to remind yourself that <laughs> that you can buy yourself flowers. And I have to get cat food. That's the list. This is your friendly reminder to use Upside, by the way. This is not sponsored. I save on average like 20 cents back on every gallon of gas from using Upside. So please, for the love of God, download the Upside app. Thank you.
would say that was successful. I did get more books than I intended to. I'm not gonna be able to go get any books in December. That's my TBR, as if I'm gonna have any time to read that many books. I filmed the TikTok I needed to film while I was in there. Now I really need to go to Trader Joe's. The issue is, is I simply can't be bothered anymore, but I'm gonna go because I need to. Crock pot meal won't make itself. Gonna have a little mukbang. I haven't really been drinking Diet Coke recently and it kind of tastes different. I was sitting here so freaking hungry and I couldn't figure out why I was hungry until I realized that I have not ate today. It's almost 4 p.m. How did that happen? I swore I had oatmeal for breakfast, but that was yesterday. <coughs> I think I was just going, going, going this morning, so I didn't even think about it. The number one rule is you can't go to the store hungry. I also haven't been eating fast food again. Like I'm not going to McDonald's, which is my go-to. If you can, stop eating fast food. It makes you feel so much better. The past few months, I've pretty much strictly been eating factor meals and Uber Eats. The two fast food places, I guess, because they're technically fast food that I've been eating is Chipotle and Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's bread is unmatched and their unwitch is really good too. And Chipotle and Jimmy John's are right next to each other. Today I got Chipotle. Mm. To try and make it healthier, all I get is brown rice, chicken, lettuce, and green salsa because their red salsa gets spicier and spicier each time I eat it. Instead of getting the queso in it, I get it on the side. If I want some, I'll just dip my fork in it, grab a bite. But honestly, you don't even taste it that much. If I would have went to the grocery store this hungry, I would have bought the whole store. I feel much better now. Yeah. That's like too spicy. my dead plant. I know you were about to. I gave up on trying to be a good plant mom. to not miss sunset. Sunrises too, but sunrise has gotten to be pretty early now. I don't know what I would do without this balcony. I try to come on here as much as I can, but enjoying my balcony so much recently just because it's not as freaking hot outside. Look how stunning it is. Dunkey also loves to chill out here. This building right here also used to block my sunset view and now it doesn't. The sunset's moved farther this way. I love a good sunset. It's nice not having to drive all the way to the beach to see the sunset. I can sit out here and edit and read and just enjoy it. Because of how high up I am, it's always cooler out here than it is down on the ground. And this ceiling part makes it so it doesn't get much sun at all. Whenever I feel lonely, but I don't have it in me to leave the house, I'll sit out here and I can just see so many other humans living their lives, walking, working on construction buildings. Sometimes it's just nice to know there are other humans, which very well could just be a me thing. My stomach got really upset after I ate that Chipotle, so I just came back home and I changed it to comfy clothes. I'm gonna place an Instacart order for the stuff that I needed from the store. The flowers are just gonna have to wait, which I'm leaving to go to Gerald's house for Thanksgiving in a couple of days anyway, so I probably should just get myself flowers when I get back from that. How are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? Do you wanna tell them that I came home to three piles of poop? I'm trying everything to make your belly not hurt from the antibiotics, but it just doesn't seem to be working, huh? Sorry. 